hello everyone and welcome back to our channel today in this video we are going to learn about the process that how we can clone records in salesforce using the flows and to make this process user friendly we are going to create the screen flows through which you can clone the object records so as we know that cloning records can save a lot of time and ensure consistency and especially when you have to create similar records repeatedly so in this video i'm going to explain you how you can clone the object records along with the related records of that particular record using the flows so as we know that in salesforce flows are used to automate the data process in the organization and we can also use the flow to clone a record that's what we are going to do in this video so we also have a feature to clone records with the help of clone button that is there in the ui of the object record page but it does not clone the related record of any record and and there is another standard button clone with related to clone the records with the related records but this feature is available for the campaign and opportunity objects only so when we need to clone the records of objects like account contacts and cases so in that scenario we can easily clone the records using the screen flow so as of now i have logged into my salesforce account and right now i am on the setup page of salesforce lightning from here we will navigate to the flows setup for that you have to simply go to the quick find box and here search and select flows and in the flow setup window click on the new flow so we are going to make this flow from scratch so select the option start from scratch and click on the next button and as i've told you that we are going to clone the record with the help of screen flow to make this process user friendly so that user can simply go on the record page and there enter the details and easily clone the record so we are going to select the option screen flow and then click on the create button so here we are, first we are going to enter the screen element so for that click on the plus icon and add the screen element so here we have to enter the label in the api name for the screen element so this screen is going to take the input from the user to create account clone so the label i am going to enter here is create account clone and the api name will be auto filled so on the screen of the screen flow we want to display a text that user will see uh, something like that you want to clone this record and for that we are going to add the display text component to the screen region for that search and select the display component so here it is display text and drag it to the screen region and now we have to enter the api name for this also so here i am going to enter the api name for this flow as clone confirmation and here i will enter the text that user will see so here we will enter the text are you sure to clone the record so the display text will appear on the a screen flow and after this we have to click on the done button and after this we are going to create a variable to get the record id of the current account record and to create a variable we have to click on this toggle icon and here click on the new resource button so the resource type is here is going to be the variable and the api name we have to enter as record id and make sure that you have also entered the api name in the same way that i have entered so that you can fetch the current record id and uh, data type here is going to be the text and we have to make this field available for input so that we can test the flow in the debug and after this click on the done button and now to get the account record we have to add the get record element to the flow for that click on the plus icon and select get records so here we have to enter the label in the api name for this also so the here label is going to be get account record and the api name will be auto field and the object here is going to be the account so here you have to select the object that you are going to clone and in the condition requirements we have to set it as id equals to record id so this condition requirement will check that id of current record is same as id of record that you are going to clone and after this we will add another screen element that is that will override the name of existing record so for that click on the plus icon and here select the screen element again and first we have to enter the label in the api name so the label i am going to enter here is overwrite record name and the api name will be auto filled so here we will add a text component to the screen flow that will change or overwrite the name of existing record for that we will drag the text component to the screen region and we will label it as account name and after this click on the done button and after overwriting the record name we are going to add a create record element that will finally going to create a clone of record that will be finally going to create a clone of record so here i am going to add the create record element and the label i am going to enter here is create account clone and after entering the label in the api name we have to map the 
values of account object to the values of the record that we are going to clone so so here we have two options to map that either we can map the variable that we have created or the get account record element that will appear here as you can see get account record element but if we select the name from the get element then it will name the clone account as current account and that will return an error so for that here we will select the option manually and here select the account object so we have only taken the account name because this is the only one field that we are going to overwrite and the rest of the fields are going to be as it is according to the parent record from which we are going to create a clone so this is how you have to map the value that account name will be mapped with overwrite record account name and after this we will map other fields also that is account phone with account from get account record then account phone and in the same way we are going to map the annual revenue and industry fields also and after this the last field i am going to map here is industry and you have to map this field according to the object that you have selected so like in this example i am going to clone the account record so i am mapping the fields accordingly and that's it so we have mapped all the fields to create the clone of account record and at last we will save the flow so for that click on the save button and here enter the flow label and the flow api name and after entering the flow label and the flow api name click on the save button so as of now our flow is ready and before deploying it to the record pages it is better to debug the flow so for that we will click on the debug button and here it is asking for the record id so the record id is going to be the id of the record that you want to clone so in this example we are cloning the account record so for that i need to get the id of account record so for that i will navigate to the accounts object and in the accounts tab i will select the account record that i want to clone so let's clone the account record edge communications and after selecting the record here you can see in the url a 15 digit code so this is what the record id is and after copying the record id you i will go back to the debug window and here i will enter the record id of the account record and after this click on the run button now we will see the first confirmation window that we have added in the screen flow that are you sure to clone the record so here click on the next button and again the second screen will appear where we want to overwrite the account name so i will name it as h communication clone and after overriding the name we have to again click on the next button and as you can see in the result transaction is committed that means the clone of account record is created so we will go back to the accounts tab and there we will see the record that we have cloned so again i will click on the accounts tab and you can see at the top this is the account that we have cloned edge communication clone this is the overwritten name that we have entered for this account record so this is how we can clone a record in salesforce using flow and after creating and testing the flow you can simply activate it using the activate button and so that you can deploy it on the record pages so that was all about cloning records in salesforce using the screen flows and i hope that you have understood whatever i have explained in the video and you can also give your suggestion in the comment box below and if you like this video then please do like share and subscribe and do not forget to hit the bell icon so that every time we upload a new video you will get a notification regarding that and thank you for giving your time and watching this video till last see you in the next video till then goodbye